In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take the information backed up on your iPhone through iCloud and download it to your new Samsung Galaxy device. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you and I wanna show you a few tricks when downloading your iCloud information over to your Samsung device. If you wanna check out other ways to transfer, such as using a wired transfer or wireless from other Android phones to Samsung, make sure you click the pop-up on screen. I'm also gonna cover how to transfer game data in those other videos, so make sure you check that out. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that your iPhone is backed up to iCloud. Let's show you how to do that. Okay, so here we first need to make sure our iPhone is backed up before we do anything on the Galaxy devices, the Galaxy S8 Plus over here. So on the iPhone, I'm going to go into the settings and then I'm gonna scroll down and go into the iCloud information. Here I click on iCloud and then I'm going to go down here and it's gonna show you what is backed up on iCloud. So here I can see that all of these are on, my photos, all the different applications, and then I go down and here I have a backup option. So I'm gonna select that. And here it says iCloud backup is on. And then here it says we can back up now. So before you do anything, go in here, make sure all those things are being backed up and make sure you have a recent backup. Here it says my last backup was at 7-Eleven today, but I'm going to click backup now just to make sure if anything changed, it is going to be in this new backup that I'm gonna to do to transfer over to the Samsung device. Okay, now we have a new backup that is set at 10.42 p.m. A few other things you should know before you go to the Samsung device to do the iCloud backup. If you have two-factor authentication on your iPhone, meaning whenever you need to type in your password, it requires you to put in the pin code on your device, you will need to go through the steps to remove your two-factor authentication. Let me show you how to do that real quick. To disable two-factor authentication, you need to go into Safari and go to Apple ID dot Apple dot com. Once you're there, sign into your Apple ID. Then it will ask if you allow permission. Here it's giving you that two factor authentication. Enter that into the website. And now you have signed in. Then you'll need to go into the security and go down to the bottom and say, turn off two-factor authentication. Now you only need to do this if when you're doing the iCloud transfer on the Samsung through Smart Switch that you get the pop-up two-factor authentication enabled. So here I click continue. It has me enter three security questions for my new form of security through my Apple ID. Now it's going to confirm my birth date and as well as put in a recovery email address. Once everything is entered correctly, two-factor authentication has been disabled. You'll know that it's been disabled when it does not say that it is on right here. Two other things I suggest you do on your iPhone before you transfer your info. One of them is to go back into the iCloud settings and turn off Find My iPhone. This allows you to factory reset your device so that you can either sell it or use it for another account. The second step is to go into messages and turn off iMessage. This will make it so that your phone number is no longer linked to your Apple ID account and you won't have any problems texting when you swap your number from your old phone to your new device. Now that we have done that, we can go over to the new Samsung device and go into Smart Switch. Depending on which phone you have, you will either need to download Smart Switch from the Play Store or go into the settings. If it's pre-Galaxy S6, go download Smart Switch, or here on the Galaxy S8 Plus or your S7, go into the settings and then go down to Clouds and Account, and here you will find the Smart Switch setting. So once you open this up, it will give you an option to update. I suggest that you do that before you proceed.
Now go back into Smart Switch, and here it gives you two options, to use the USB cable or wireless transfer. If you wanna see the USB cable option, please click the pop-up on screen. Here we're gonna go into wireless. So we wanna click receive, and then it will ask you what OS your old device is. Here I'm gonna select iOS, and then it wants me to input my iCloud information. Once I have done that, I just click sign in. Once you have signed into your iCloud account, there are two steps to this. So here, it is going to transfer contacts, calendar, notes, app list, call log, bookmarks, clock, Wi-Fi, and wallpaper. So that's the first part. The second portion is going to do a bit more like messages, images, videos. So here, I wanna import this information first. Now this Galaxy S8 Plus is new. There has, isn't other any information on this previously. And depending on how much data you have, this could take a bit of time. Once it has finished scanning through the data, it will start importing all the data to the specific applications. It will do this one by one until it is finished. Once the first portion is complete, you will then see this screen. Here I want to click continue. And now it is going to load the data for the bigger portion, which includes photos, videos, voice memos, documents, and messages. Here it is showing the second portion of the transfer of what can be imported. Here, I don't have any photos, videos, voice memos, or documents over on the iPhone, but I do have some messages, and these are iMessages that it will transfer over. Here it says the time it's gonna transfer, and then the amount of data that's gonna take up, and I'm going to click Import. Once it's been complete, it will save the data through the specific app and then it will pop up this screen. Since the iPhone apps are not compatible with Android, you will need to re-download all of those apps, but the good news is, is you just have an account that you need to sign in and most of your information will be there. Here it says, turn off iMessage. We have already done that. And it's showing all the information that it transferred over. So contacts, calendars, notes, app list, bookmarks, clock, Wi-Fi, wallpaper, and messages. If we click more features, it's going to pop up back up to Samsung Cloud. So Samsung Cloud is very similar to iCloud. It will back up all the information. You have 15 gig for free that you can use. So if you want to try out that option, check here now. If you downloaded any photos or videos, there is another third-party video app that you will need to go get, that, like VLC Video Player, that allows to play for .mov files. So here I'm gonna click close app, and now let's check what transferred over between the two devices. So let's go to the lock screen. So here on the lock screen, we have the same image that transferred over. And then if we go to the home screen, it looks like the main home screen image did not transfer over. Next, let's go in and check messages. So here I have a text message thread actually have two threads that I was using. So if we go into the thread, we can see that our iMessages did transfer over. It looks like we have pictures on here, each message, and it looks like the video was not able to transfer over. So let's go into the notes application. And then here I'm gonna use Samsung Notes. We can see that all that information has transferred over. Next, let's go into the calendar. So here we can see eating cake tonight has transferred over, go over. We see that these reoccurring events transferred over as well. Looks great. Then let's check our clock. So I'm gonna go into clock over here. It looks like the one alarm that I had set had transferred over. We can even go into Safari. And over here, we wanna go into the Samsung internet browser. And go into our bookmarks. We can go into all, let's go to favorites. Over here, I'm gonna click favorites and we can see all that information that transferred over from that device to this device. 
Okay, now that we've checked the information, one of the things is the apps that can't transfer over. So over here on the Galaxy S8, we just go back into the settings, go to clouds and accounts, and go back into Smart Switch. And once it loads up this page, we click settings, and we can see apps from old device. Now this is going to give you a list of the applications that you had over here on the iPhone, and then I can just reinstall them over onto the new Galaxy S8 device, and I can do that just by clicking install. It is going to take you to the Play Store to download those, and you will need to add a Gmail account if you have not done that before. If this is your very first Android phone, make sure you click the pop-up on screen to go and check out my Android 101 playlist where I'm gonna teach you all about how to navigate through this phone, how to use your Google account on here, and so many other things that you'll need to know. Check that out, it's gonna teach you so much more than this video will. Once you have entered your Gmail account, it will take you to the Play Store where you can install new applications. If you go back here, you will see the main page of the Play Store and you can go through and find other apps that you may want to download onto your new Android phone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this helped you transfer your information from iCloud to your new Samsung phone. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next tutorial.